Jonathan Gavoni of DraftExpress.com. We're here in Colorado Springs at the USA Basketball Development Camp with Michael Porter. Michael, how is Colorado Springs treating you? It's cool. It's like a lot of competition, so it's cool. And I know a lot of these dudes already, so it's cool to go against them. It's fun. What was today like for you? It was a lot of competition, and we just we did a lot of drills. We like separated into groups and did a lot of drills, and then we played, and it was cool. Just the competition here is fun. What do you know about USA Basketball? What's your experience been so far? Um, this is actually my first time up here. I was up here with my sister when she was doing USA stuff, so I'm, I'm, I know around the facility, but it's my first time with USA Basketball, and it's really cool. I like it. How do you think you, uh, you, you performed today? I did pretty good. I mean, we're still getting, my, our team is still getting used to each other, so we just got to play as a team, and, but I personally did pretty good. What kind of player are you right now? For people that are watching that, this video, what can you tell us about yourself? Um, I'm about six, seven and a half, but I'm like a two, three, so I can dribble and shoot, create my own shot. So I'm bigger for my position. So like, if they put a little dude on me, I'll go in the low post sometimes. But if they put like a bigger dude on me, I'll just stay outside. So yeah, that's what I do. Have you always been more of a guard or, or a wing? Yeah, ever since I was three, my dad would like work us out, and he would always focus on ball handling. So I always got really comfortable left, left and right and shooting. So yeah, I've always been more of a guard. What does it mean for you to play USA Basketball? It's really cool. I mean, this is like the best organization in the world, so it's cool to be a part of. Were you, what, was your, you know, what were your emotions when you got that, that invitation? What, what, when did that happen, and what was that like? Um, my dad, we were on the way to school. My dad just like pulled out his phone, and he showed me a voicemail of a dude that was inviting me here. And it, like when I first heard it, I was real excited because... I mean, obviously, this is a big deal, so it was really cool to get invited. When, when did you realize that your future is going to be in basketball? Um, like I said, when I was three years old, my dad was like, what do you want to do? And I was like, play basketball. So ever, ever since then, he trained me. And we would go out in the backyard at first, and then like, I got better and better. And we would find gyms to go to and everything, and I would work on my skills with my dad. And now he's a coach at Mizzou, so I can get in there whenever I want and work out. So it's cool. What do you need to work on to reach your full potential? Um, right now, I'm just polishing up everything. My defense, I'm polishing that up. Um, ball handling and shooting, I just got to keep everything polished, and I'll just get stronger and more explosive the older I get. How much pressure is there going to be on you to, to end up at Missouri, considering the circumstances being from Columbia and all that? There's no pressure at all. My dad, I mean, he's on my side. He wants me to find the best place for me. He's not worried about me going there just to be around my family. I mean, he wants me to find somewhere that I would like. So there's no pressure at all. They don't push, put any pressure on me. So, Are other schools um, recruiting you, or is, that, is it too early to talk about that kind of stuff? No, I got quite a bit of schools that offered. Um, you want me to list them? All right, yeah, Missouri, Kansas, Baylor. Wichita State, Indiana, Iowa, Illinois, uh, Colorado, um, Marquette. There's some, a few others I forget, but yeah, those are the offers. And then I have school, like there's some coaches that come into like early morning workouts at my school, and they'll be at like open gyms and stuff to watch. So, so. Anybody in particular you like to watch in, in the NBA, someone that you kind of try to take away things from, from their game? There's a few dudes. I would probably say like Kevin Durant, Carmelo, um, Kobe, dudes like that, Rudy Gay, those type of scores and wing players that are like bigger. That's who I like to focus on and model my game after. Right now you're getting a lot of um, attention. People are, you know, you're ranked in the top five by the recruiting services. How do you plan on staying there? I mean, I just got to work on my skills every day and never stay content. I mean, I won't be happy until I'm number one in my class, so I just got to keep working up to that goal. I mean, that's my ultimate goal, so anything lower than that is not enough. I mean, once I get there, I still got to keep working to keep that spot, but that's my goal right now. Thanks so much. Best of luck. You too. Thank you.